Hello, ladies, gentlemen, witches, wizards, warlocks, and everybody else. Welcome back to Banners of Ruin. Let's jump into a new game, shall we? New run, anyway. Ah, uh, so we could use default here, or we could go with beaver hair or wolf weasel. I have not actually done beaver hair before, so let's give this one a shot. That last run did not go super well, but hopefully we'll be making some, some fewer mistakes this go around. Well, hopefully, right? Provisions, so cards, money, or a forgotten tunnel. Or just skip. Alrighty, let's take a good gift. And we'll enter our combat. So yeah, this has been a good time so far. I'm interested to see what the difference between all the characters is. Maybe we have different cards to choose from. Maybe we have a different starting deck. That would be sick. It's looking pretty much the same so far. Pretty much exactly the same so far. We'll do, uh, alrighty, so eight brings that down to six. And then we can kill him. Maybe we should kill one of the, okay, let's see what everyone's doing. Eight, okay, they're all attacking our poor beaver. The beaver is not in a good spot right now, so we have got to get rid of at least, at least one of these. Hopefully more than one. Let's do this on you. And now we'll do Rush, which is going to do nine. And you can strike and strike. Uh, it's not, that's not great. We didn't think that through all the way, did we? Strike <coughs> and strike. We definitely need to get the beavers in better armor, as it turns out. It doesn't help that the entire uh, front line also attacked one of our guys. Instead of spreading the damage at all, which is pretty annoying. All right, and they're going to do it again. Maybe the game got harder. I don't think so. I don't think so. So he's going to take 12. Well, we'll just drop a solid footing on him, I guess. This is pretty lame. And you can no mercy, round shield, take cover on you, and another guard. That's a lame turn, but at least we're not taking any more damage. He's already taken 10, 8, 10, 10 damage? It's going to be 11 after this bleed goes off? Yikes. He's lost a lot of HP so far. We'll just do a great sword. Oh, no. We will also withdraw you. And... Dump a card and draw keep the vigor for next turn this is going fine i don't really know what the difference in characters actually does i haven't noticed anything so far it kind of seems like they're all exactly the same maybe the bear maybe they can get different specific talents but i i don't even know if that's the case all right We'll do 10 damage with the Vanguard, and... So draw becomes incredibly useful later on, but we don't really have the Stam to back it up right now. We don't have anyone dual-wielding either. I think I will go for this, and then we'll aim to get somebody dual-wielding soon. Just because we need some way to do some more damage right off the bat so that this doesn't keep happening. Enter the city. Let's try and avoid, I was going to say, let's try and avoid combat, but that's not going to happen now, is it? Prepare. Prepare. Okay. You're attacking rabbit, and you're both attacking beaver. So rabbit is actually going to move beaver. That's the play. And then hatchet. Is our other play, I think? Yeah, that seems good. Move you here. And hatchet the... Hatchet the rat? Because we can probably kill him this turn. Yeah. No mercy. No, what do we want to do? Do we want to do five damage now, or do we want to gain three charge for next turn on either of them? I think we give our hair three charge for next turn. 
maybe we get a rush next turn, and that becomes really valuable, because that's four times three, which is 12. 12 damage. Yeah, it turns a, turns a three damage card into a 12 damage card, which is pretty, pretty, pretty spicy. We will drop... Uh-oh. No, this is fine. We just have to kill this one, then. It's pretty spicy. Pretty spicy, indeed. Actually, we kill them both. Nice. Easy. Okay, okay, okay. Rear guard. Deal six damage. If active character is in back rank, apply six armor to front rank. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. We can put rear guard and move beaver to the back line, because he's low on HP. Let's try that. This game has so many cool strategic elements to it, like the rank system and, like, rank system and this one, um, the row, whatever it is. Mentor, double a card, decoy, or execute. So we have to ruin a card, I believe. We ruin a card or we five to do a fight. So I would rather double a card in our deck. I'm pretty sure Mentor is double a card. Now seems like a good time to take a short rest. Perhaps an opportunity to learn something new? Yeah, we can always learn. What's strong? What's the best thing that we got going on in our deck right now? Probably we could double the solid footing and start getting rid of the guards because I'm not a big fan of guard. We could... I don't want to double second wind. I don't think it's all that good. Let's double... Maybe we should go for a bleed? Or we could go for a... Overwhelm. Let's go for Overwhelm. I like stacking Overwhelm. It seems pretty fun. Quick round. Heal. Discard. We'll, we'll heal. Quick round. Heal up. High. Discard from each other lane. Do I want to... Do I want to fight? I think I probably want to fight, because we need to level. Crazy, right? How fighting gives you experience. So... Oh, we were supposed to move Beaver to the back. Oh, uh, that's... That's pretty dumb. Okay, let's take a look at how much damage they're dealing. 8, and... 16 to you, and 8 to you. Not great, not awful. So we'll probably just drop a great sword... Maybe we go for a kill. Maybe we go for a kill. We don't have enough stam, which is really quite annoying. So this is 8, and this is... This is 12, plus 12, it's 24, so we can kill this guy. We'll do that. Not great, not bad. Keep all of our guys alive. Only taking 2 damage on the beaver. Oh, and they're applying Vulnerable. I didn't even notice. Okay, so this guy is taking 12 damage. And he's just taking 12 damage. That's not great. Let's go with a second wind on you. And we're actually going to withdraw with you on yourself. And take no damage this turn on anyone. Yeah, evade, evade. Nice. So with the remaining stam that we've got, we will go flurry and we'll just go to take one out this turn. It doesn't matter. Man, that does a lot of damage. Oh, it's weapon damage. That's why. Weapon damage is good. It's free kill. And then eight plus weapon damage. Er, weapon damage is eight plus the overwhelm. Only one stack of it. And then our strike does a little bit more damage. Easy fight. Easy fight. No problems. Why'd you take 2 HP? Did you get bled? Maybe. Sunder. Deal 5 damage to armor for every 3 stacks of vulnerable on opponent. Deal an additional 15 damage to armor. This is not bad for getting rid of... For getting rid of, like, the big big fortress guys later on, but I don't think it uh, seems all that relevant. Each character in your rank gains 8 armor or brace. None of these strike my fancy. But we do have a level up, which is pretty nice. 
Battle forged. All party members gain one vigor. Not my vibe. Outnumbered. Deal weapon damage. If opponent has no allies on rank, deal weapon damage twice more. Tenacity. This character removes all stacks. So let's go outnumbered on Beaver. And we will drop the Stam upgrade on probably both of them off the bat, to be honest with you. Unless we get a good, we get a good willpower here. Let's take a peek at your talent. Discard all Ruin cards. Don't care. We don't have any Ruin, and I don't plan on building a Ruin deck. Apply 4 Bleed and 10 Cripple. Could actually be pretty good. Double the characters, double the active character's armor. So we can double Bunny's armor, or we can take Hamstring, which applies 4 Bleed and 10 Cripple. <clears throat> On the right, against the right enemy, this is actually really good. I'll take that. I'll take that because we need some more damage, I believe. I don't think any of those were specifics. Back alley, select a lane and remove the next two cards, Blackfoot Agents, or a combat. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with the combat, so maybe we'll do that, grind some more experience, get some more monies. Okay, but we gotta move the beaver into the back line one of these days. So, five cleave, five cleave, and ten. It's not great. It's not great at all. But we could probably kill Beaver this turn. If we go... Flurry on the Beaver. And then that's just a kill. And we'll ha, drop a No Mercy. And you should... Oh, no. Well, that's fine. We can just draw a card and keep the Vigor. And you can gain solid footing. Look, we're taking more damage on the beaver, but I really should have just moved them into the back rank. So that's my penalty for not moving them into the back rank, is taking 4 HP damage. I deserve it. Just just plain and simple. Did the music get turned off all of a sudden? What is happening? It's so quiet. Okay, 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 okay. So if... You're taking 12 here. And 12 here. Oh, dear me. Can you kill you? Eight and weapon damage? Yes. This will kill. Just. And you should probably guard for both. And drop a flurry. On you. And it doesn't really matter who rushes, because it's still just going to be three damage. Even with the overwhelm. Unfortunately, our beaver's going to take another two damage, but <clears throat> he'll survive. We need to get him some better armor, like pronto. Eight damage and bleed. I don't like that. It's a good thing you're dead. Ha ha. Ha ha! Okay, remember to move beaver back. Rush, deep strike, deal five damage if opponent is in the back rank. Deal 12 damage instead. This seems pretty weak. Gain armor equal to the total armor of adjacent characters on rank. No, no, no. Feels weird skipping this many cards, but I don't think any of those were particularly good. Search party. They stumbled across you. One of them figured out, figured you out and already alerted the others. Great. I guess we'll fight the search party then. Oh, uh, I need to move the beaver. I need to move the beaver. You're taking... So you need to die, is what I'm seeing. You need to you need to die this turn, probably. Which we cannot do. Excellent. Excellent. So you are going to probably be the one who moves, actually. We'll move you onto the back... We'll move you into the back rank. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put you back there. And you can just armor up both... And you can swing both at the Enforcer. And we will take him out next turn. That was a decent turn. I really wish we got some better cards. Like, we got, like, all the worst cards in our deck. But that's fine. Hamstring. Are you guys moving? Oh, no. So you're definitely going to need a solid footing this turn. Is What do we want to play before we drop solid footing? Deal weapon damage and apply... Overwhelm? Well, we just kill you this turn, right? 
Yes. And solid footing. And we can either hamstring or sharpen steel. I'm going to go with the... Are these guys not moving? Wild strike. It moves to random vacant position, deals 12 damage. But if it has bleed, deal 6 instead. So this is really good. We can... We can nullify a lot of the damage and put the cripple on them, which is pretty sick. Doesn't matter which. Doesn't matter which. Good turn. So 12 and then 6, right? Oh, yeah. That cripple's pretty ferocious, too. So we can drop a hatchet on you. Are you both attacking? The, it was this poor beaver, man. He can't get a break. This is a beaver talent? Right. So we'll definitely want to get rid of you. And we're just going to dump the whole load to get rid of you. We will go to the beaver. We'll draw a card and get a vigor. And we will outnumbered because it won't cost us anything. But it was... That was really easy, actually. These first floor fights are not too hard. Poison tip. Just straight up apply three poison. It's not bad. I definitely discredited poison early on, but the fact that it stacks up is like a huge, huge boon. I don't know why the music gets so loud in the choose a card screen, but it does it a lot. I don't think we need any of these, except maybe Poison Tip to get some incremental damage. So I will take that. Large crowd, back alley. Guess we're taking back alley. And we will get rid of this one. Cultist swears. A group of shady cultists are gathered around some torches, humming and droning an unsettling tune. Or courage. So this is a chance to improve some base stats at the cost of HP, I believe. Like increase max HP for temporary loss of HP. We might want to try that. Okay, before I forget, we're going to move Henderson. We're going to move you behind the bunny. That's better. Henderson and Sanderson. I want to do courage. Some enders are hot on your trail. You turn a corner to see, you know, uh, find a dead end. Sanderson yells, over here, a hatch. Force it open. Sanderson gains one max stamina and takes 10 damage. Yes, that is quite a decent chunk here in the early game, but that's fine. No, that's actually pretty good. Crossroads, clear street to this depth. Sure. Get rid of that large crowd. And a combat. Perfect. Do we want to go for the elite combat? Seems a little sketch right now. I don't know if it's an elite combat, but it's a, it's a harder combat for sure. I think it comes with equipment. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So you're taking 30, I guess. No real way around that. So let's drop a flurry on a bear enforcer. And give him the vanguard. And give him a strike that should kill him. So now Bunny's only taken 20, which is much better. We'll drop a poison tip and a hamstring. Yeah, poison tip on. Doesn't matter which, because they have the same HP. And hamstring the same guy. Get him out of the way as quick as possible. <clears throat> Hamstring's not super strong in this fight, but what you gonna do, right? So yes, poison ignores block. Ooh, I don't like that. How much are you dealing? Six, seven, and seven. If opponent has more than 18 block, apply bleed. Rear guard. Deal six damage if active characters in back rank apply armor to the front rank. That's what we wanted. We will do great sword as well. Maybe we want to withdraw you? Six and six. But we don't want to go above 18, so we'll just do that and take the damage. Six and six. Seven and seven, actually. Seven and seven, because the one charge, right? Don't forget that. That's a key detail. 
You're dead next turn. So we can start going on this guy. We might have to clear this one out if we get overwhelmed. And we did not. That's a good thing. So we'll go here. We'll go second wind. We'll drop 12. 12 with an overwhelm and then 12 with a bleed. And I think they're both dead. Yep, definitely both dead. Might as well play everything. No, no point in doing it. No point in not doing it. Florence and gain a new card. I do like flanking strike. That's 22 damage for two. We just need some big damage right now. We could use the big damage right now. More fighting. More combat. Double combat. Let's go. Probably could have switched bunny and beaver for this combat, but that's so Holy cow. Here we go. There's our, here's our big fight. Sixteen plus ten, so twenty-six. Twenty-six on the bunny. So, we definitely have to give him guard. We're definitely playing vanguard with him. Beaver is gonna play outnumbered. Ah, it's not very good. It's not very good. It's just weapon damage. So it's just twelve. That's not great at all. Let's see what we can do if we give second win to the bunny. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That ain't bad at all. Block yourself. Take another guard. Give him the vanguard. Give 10 damage. We should probably go for the spearman. Poison. The enforcer. And then you can just straight up take out one of those spearmen. So we're now we're only taking 18. 18 of 34. That's much better. And we got the poison stacking on the bear, which is really good. Because he will stack fury, right? The, the charge, which is quite spooky. So we should use the hatchet to break the armor. Whose armor? Maybe one of these guys. Debilitating shot on the beaver debilitating shot on the beaver it's not great we should definitely take care of one of those guys so what we can do is hatchet and rush and overwhelm and flurry and greatsword if this breaks the okay let's do some thinking here these guys both have 22 hp 22 hp so 12 and 10 or 12 and 12 will do it for either one of those with this so we should break the armor first and you can do a flurry on you and a great sword on the back line and you should rush so rush will deal through so nine we'll do nine damage to the enforcer and then we will strike the arrow guy so if i kill the arrow guy they don't get a turn to attack that's really nice they just don't get an attack round at all maybe we'll keep bunny we'll keep bunny out front but maybe we'll move henderson up up or down not sure yet how that's gonna look rear guard yes Hit the bear. The bear's dealing six to Bun to Sanderson, and the bunny is dealing six to Sanderson. This is not super great. This is not a great turn. Six and six to twelve. I would like to get rid of this bunny, but I don't think it's happening. So instead, we'll just armor up and hamstring. E so he's actually doing seven. So we'll hamstring you and strike you. And then momentum just gives us free charge for next turn. That's one really nice thing about momentum is that it's it, it plays well on the next turn as well. Taking eight. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do you have so much bleed? What? Whoa. More than 18 armor. Apply for bleed. Scheisse. That's just me being dumb. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's just me being dumb. Hey, they both get a level, though. That's good. I do love setup. I love setup. And I think we're going to go setup here. And show me the passives. Show me the passives. Bastion, at the start of their turn, if this character has no allies in their rank, gain 15 armor and 1 stam. Bloodthirsty, whenever this character kills an enemy with an attack, their max vitality is increased by 3, right? Bloodthirsty is pretty sick. Wrathful, at the start of their turn, if this character has less than 30% vitality, gain 1 rage. Do we want to start stacking the HP on the beaver? Or do we want to... I feel like Bastion is really good. Like Bastion is really good. So I'm going to take it. Just because I think it's broken. And we'll head over to Bun. What do you got for a passive bunny? Preparation at the start of the turn. If this character has any will, gain one, gain, gain a card draw. Anyone on this character's rank starts combat with one vigor. Not great right now. Eccentric, whenever you draw eight or more additional cards in a turn, you may put a random card from your banished pile into your hand. That does not feel great. So I will go with Patient. Fortunately, we only have one will, but we don't use much that costs will. So upgrade Stam. But now we got a anxiety. Subterfuge is beginning to take its toll on your brothers. The constant need to remain alert is wearing on their resolve. Buy cards, buy cards. Party takes five damage. Why would you ever click on this? Let's move. Let's move these guys a little bit. This is fine. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's still good, because he does have the better armor. Oh, this is so spooky, though. Lightfoot's a lean pair of messenger hairs catch their breath by a small brewing stand. I don't actually know what the Lightfoot's do for cards yet, I don't think. Rotate, swap positions with a target party member. Don't love it. Battering Ram. Battering Ram is not terrible. Battering Ram is just better kick, right? Yeah. So these guys are all about, like, moving stuff. Lightfoots are all about movement. That makes sense, considering they're Lightfoots. Off-duty guard Sanctuary. Sanctuary! Sanderson! Uh, smell hits you first. If you're not sick, get out of here. I haven't got the time to deal with you. We have, a we have wounded. Heal a character below 20% HP to their max. Does Sanderson permanently ruin a card and heal... Sanderson no Sanderson's not wounded let's ruin a card and heal Sanderson then I don't mind I don't care what card we ruin let's ruin a strike Sanderson welcome back all right we got some free money from these guards yeah let's take the money come on and take the money and run do I want another combat? Or do I want to discard a random combat? Let's do the combat. What is this? Healing service. I don't want that. This is a little spooky. Eight to Henderson. Eight to Henderson. Five. Never mind. This is totally fine. This is a good, this is a good place to start. So these guys all have pretty low HP. We could drop No Mercy and see which one we want to start with. Or we could Rear Guard. Rear guard seems like a good first first move. Rear guard on you. Now it's time to get some more card draw. Now we could use some more card draw. Luckily, we have it for next turn. Drop a sharpened steel. That's he's already dead. Oh, but now we can't use no mercy. Bummer, bummer. That's okay. Is what we'll do instead is we'll discard no mercy, and we will deal eight damage with our strike to. This weasel kind of scares me, but we'll do it to the bunny. I'm not too concerned about Archer Weasel right now either. You could probably take him out next turn. I think it's time to start putting Will on these guys. Five Stam and five Stam is pretty good. What do I? What am I getting? If this character has any Will, gain one preparation. Okay. So I'm thinking. You're hitting you for eight and applying a winded. That's actually not bad at all. Let's do a second wind and a setup. The setup is good. Do a setup back here. 
we will drop the flurry. Is there anything that's better? This is 12 damage. We're not getting the bonus if we hit him. We get a kill if we just drop it on you. That's pretty good. Let's do that. And then we'll drop the overwhelm up here. And that's probably a kill too. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. You're not doing anything. You won't be getting to do anything. Do we want to? Yeah, let's just drop the ragged claw on you too. And are we concerned about anything at all? No. So we'll just use the poison and hamstring and you can take solid footing. Good turn. I think this is a easy fight. You're taking a bunch of damage. We get a bunch of cards and it's over. Easy. That was a good fight. I'm, I'm pleased. Is two setups too many this early? Maybe, but we'll find out. I, I just think setup's amazing. You know, apply vulnerable, draw two cards. <laughs> I'm a little scared of that, to be honest with you. Hire party members? Let's, yeah, let's, let's hire. Hire seems good right now. Don't click the continue button. We got a bear at level four. Bless start each combat with plus two will. That's terrible. Like, just terrible. Um, Do we have the money to hire two right now? 400. So, yeah, we do have the money to hire two new party members. We could go that route and try and get, like, buffed up uh, like a big party. Everyone on this character's rank starts with combat with one vigor. We might want to drop bunny. We could do... And then what's this? That's a bear with a bow. If unable to move, plus one stamina spawns hit and run. Yo. Maybe... Because what do you have? Tenacity is your thing and you have inspiration. Inspiration seems good if we put both these guys on the front. And then Longbow. No, I think I want to try... I want to try getting Redmont. I want to get. I want to try building a bigger party. Because I've had small parties, but no big parties yet. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, look. Getting beefy. Getting thick. Put you there. Sanderson and... Sansford. Look at this. This is a beefy party. So do bears have more base HP or is that something he has? Bears must have like one level worth of extra base HP. I was tempted to get that one level four guy, but this is fine. And Henderson is in the back, so he won't be taking damage. Enter the hideout. And he's got Bastion too, which is going to be good for us. We might want to consider picking up a uh, overhead smash, remove all armor, deal that much, deal all the damn all of armor you have to one guy kind of thing. Tenacity, completely useless right now. Completely useless. What do you have? Outnumbered. Also quite useless right off the hop. So you're dealing 10 to Sanderson, you're dealing 12 to Sanderson, and you're dealing 10 to Redmont. We can handle that. This is fine. What we want to do is deal with one of these two. Probably... Okay. This music... Okay, the, the levels in this game are just all over the place, man. Okay. Okay. So, why don't we dagger? Who's got the dagger? Oh, you're wielding a dagger. Five damage apply to bleed. Dual wielding daggers apply to extra bleed. That's cool. I didn't actually look at their weapons at all, which is my bad, because I really should have. We also need way more draw now that we have this many guys. Like, way more draw. Let's poison the billman. And who's taking all the damage? It's it's Sanderson, yeah? Okay. Sanderson, just use solid footing. You don't need to do anything else, mate. You drop your dagger on this one. 
And you hit outnumbered on this one. What a terrible first turn. Tenacity is just such a bad card. I wanna I wanna remove that talent as soon as possible. Uh maybe it'll be good later. Like it would be good now. <laughs> Shrug it off. Every time this character receives more than 15 damage, they gain three charge and five bolster. Dude, what? Okay. Swing with the great sword. Definitely. Gone swinging. Outnumbered. That's his you're outnumbered, right? Short bow. Move to the front range. Plus one stamina. Spawns hit and run. So we want him in the front. Hit and run. Deal weapon damage. If active characters in the front rank, apply three bleed and move to the back rank. Oh, this is cool. Eight damage and move back, but we don't really want you to move back right now. It's a shame. We will kill you, but not before you cleave if we don't attack. You're dealing six to the front, you're dealing three, so nine, oh, 12, plus six is 18. So you're not actually taking any HP damage, which is fine. This is eight. Or this is eight. I think this is much better. And we'll toss out an outnumbered. So it's just eight. And then we'll do a strike with you on you, guard. This is fine. And you're dealing six, and you're dealing 12. Yeah, this is fine. So we'll use you to use the ragged claw and the strike. And we will we will be concerned with Sledge the Bear, but I think he'll be I think we'll we'll manage. Like that is pretty spooky, to be completely honest with you. The three charge is pretty spooky. Footwork. Move slash swaps to an adjacent position, gains three charge and three retaliation. So we want to deal the damage now. So let's do the damage now then, shall we? We'll do flurry, flurry. Flurry, flurry. Flurry, flurry. Whose shield is that? Is this your shield? Are you, you're dealing six? Moves opponent backwards in lane. A position is occupied, deals six damage instead. Okay, it's fine. And you're just moving. Okay, 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 okay. So let's do sharpen. Let's drop the sharpen steel on you. Bleeding. We really want to put out the damage on this guy right now. So much so that I'm willing to drop the battering ram on him, but I still don't think we're going to get close enough to. Yeah, we won't be able to use no mercy on him, which is a major bummer for me. So we'll shield up Sanderson and round shield and shield up Sanderson again and hit him with a no mercy. We don't have enough cards, guys. We don't have enough cards. What is it? Dude, the video, the video is already 38 minutes long. Okay. Mm. You with the great sword. Use flanking strike. Kill him. Yes. Very good. Impaled. Does eight damage to opponent's lane. If anyone hit receives vitality damage, one bleed is applied. Oh, that's totally, totally okay. Let's use you to gain, to draw a card. And yeah, we'll just drop the setup. Oh, this is good. This is good. It's over. It's all over now. I didn't even realize we had a second setup in our hand. Am I doing this the right way? Not even in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Okay. Equipment, yes. Superior light armor. Because you're always wearing basic light armor. Could put you in medium. Yeah, that's fine. And we get another card. Akimbo, we don't have anyone dual wielding yet. Mirror and opponent's armor stacks. 
Hmm. I like Akimbo. I think Akimbo is really strong because it could be like 36 damage if you have the right weapons. But we don't have anybody, anybody dual wielding yet. Ah, no. Oh, I think I think we go Akimbo. I think we go Akimbo and we look for a dual wield because I think that cards are super strong. Heal party, no. Level up a character. Maybe not bad. Not bad. We could level up Redmont or Wealth. I'm leaning Wealth. Because we need we got lots of stuff we need to buy. Okay. You know what? At a 40 minute runtime, I think that's that's enough for this video. Well, it's looking like we'll do one floor of video till we start, you know, ramping up the speed. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you made it all the way here, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button because I'm sure you like the video. Uh, leave me a dislike if you're not enjoying the series and a comment why. I'd love that. Always looking to grow and improve. Yeah, I. that's everything. And as always, have a great day.